So you might be trying to figure out how you can use your S Pen with your Samsung Galaxy Tab S10. Now, doing this is actually very basic. First of all, if you ever wanted to connect your S Pen to your Galaxy Tab S10 for the first part, all you're going to have to do is flip your tab over. This little line up here, it'll allow you to go ahead and connect to it via that flat side of your S Pen, and you can charge it this way as well. So you can just go and place your S Pen right on the back side here. It's a pretty cool thing that you have. Now it also wirelessly connects like that too. So now you can flip your S Pen back up and then you're basically back at this page. Now within the S Pen, there's a lot of cool capability. So first of all, there's the flat side that you can charge your S Pen with, but there's also this button on the side here. This button allows you to quickly invoke your commands. So what you can do is if you're you know, touching the display like this, if you click on it and if you hold it down, you can go ahead and basically, you know, it says this screen, whatever, you can hold it down to, you know, open up the camera or open up some other things too, if you really want to. So it is a really cool thing. You can double tap it to do all sorts of things too. So if you're inside of an application, so if you open up an app, you can go and click on it and you can open up this thing just like this. And it's actually a really cool thing. So I'd recommend using that button sometimes. Now the S Pen works as any other stylus. So you can go use it to, you know, draw. You can use it to do other things. So if you wanted to draw, you can open up an application like, a, you know, your photos app. You can click on the edit button right up here and you can go and find the drawing tool, which I think is right here. And you can start to draw on your particular applications too. So let's say you wanted to draw a photo or whatever you wanted to do. Well, you could do that here and it's actually a very, very cool thing. So you do have that type of capability there as well. Now the big application that you can use within your S Pen is this side app right here. So this is essentially your you know, S Pen type of capability tool. So here it allows you to go ahead and build, you know, have a lot of things built in that you can basically use within your S Pen. So you can use sketch to image, which is awesome, smart select, create a note and screen, right? And you can, you have more options here too. If you click on add, you can go ahead and add other things here too, if you want to from this particular panel. But in this case, if we were to go and start off with, you know, our, you know, sketch to image, if we click here, if we want to within Galaxy AI, there's a lot of cool stuff built in. Now you're gonna have to log in with your Samsung account or whatever, but that's a really cool thing that you have there. On top of that, you have, you know, smart selects built in as well. So what you can do is, let's say I wanted to go and select an image, right? Let's say I wanted to go and select this, you know, Play Store. Well, it will allow me to go ahead and open it up in a map. I can make a note of it. I can also literally just hop inside of Google and actually search for these things too. And it is actually a very cool thing that you have there as well. So that's another really cool thing. On top of that, you also have, you know, if I tap onto here, you also have your create a note. So you can quickly just jump into here and you can create a note once this thing is loaded. So it keeps giving me the Samsung Galaxy AI thing, but you can go through and you can go through and draw whatever you want to. So in this case, if I wanted to, I could go and draw like a smiley face. So if I wanted to and go and draw something like this and I can just go and draw a person, like you can kind of do whatever you want to here. And it's actually a really, really cool thing. So from this particular side, that's another awesome thing that you basically have the option of doing here as well. And on top of that, you can also do this screen right thing. So right onto the display, you can take a screenshot of it and it will allow you to go and write on the screen. If you want to make a note and draw something up here, you have that type of capability there too. So that is basically how you can use the S Pen. There's a lot of cool capability here for the most part. It's a lot easier than you think, but that's essentially how it's done. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, well then.